Uh, Dana Bash is on Capitol Hill right now, and she has with her uh, one of the two independents uh, in the U.S. Senate. This is Senator Angus King, who caucuses with the Democrats. He's on the Senate Intelligence Committee. Dana? Thank you so much, Jake, and thank you, Senator King, for joining sure. me today. Uh, first, your thoughts on what you heard this morning well, or I this thought, afternoon. <laughs> I, I thought Adam Schiff uh, hit an important point at the end because it, I don't want to be too nerdy, but in England, under impeachment, you were not only lost your job, you could be killed, you could be put in jail, you lost your land. Our framers expressly didn't say that. It's only loss of office. Mm -hmm. Therefore, the question really is, did you, not did you do something bad you should be punished for, but is it likely you would do it again? In other words, it's not punishment, it's prevention. Mm -hmm. And the, the key word here is remorse. The president hasn't expressed a scintilla of remorse for that, that he matter? did anything wrong. Well, it matters because that says the only way to prevent him doing it again is to remove him from office. Do, mm -hmm. do you see what I mean? Yes. Uh, Bill Clinton, in his case, stood before the American people said, I made a mistake. I did something that was wrong. This is a case where the president tried to, it appears anyway, get a foreign country to interfere in our election, and he doesn't regret it. He doesn't understand that he did anything wrong. Therefore, there's some likelihood He'll, do, he'll it again. do it again. And that was, you're right, that was the, sort of the crux of what Adam Schiff was saying. What was your uh, takeaway from the use of John McCain and the clip of what he was saying about how important Ukraine is, particularly given how Russia is trying to use Ukraine? Well, I, I, I thought it was really important. I mean, I, I was looking across at my colleagues. I'm on armed services, as you know. and. Arguing for lethal aid to Ukraine. Armed services, which he chaired. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, it was one of the blessings of my life to be on that committee when he was the chair. But the Republican argument was, we've got to give more lethal aid to Ukraine. We've got to give lethal aid. Whatever and by the way, is. Obama didn't. And I, s I suspect you're going to hear a lot of attacks saying, well, Trump has given more lethal aid to Ukraine than Obama did. And that's true. Mm -hmm. But the question is, what about the suspension and why did he do it? And all of the bad ramifications that flow from that. So uh, the other senator from Maine is Susan Collins. I'm not going to ask you about her because she's doing her own thing, you're doing your own thing, but you, you share constituents. Sure. What are you hearing from the constituents back home in Maine about how they want you to vote and how they're reacting to what they're hearing on well, the I, Senate floor? I haven't checked this today, mm -hmm. but as of last night when I did check uh, this week, something like over 90 percent of the calls that we've gotten in the office have been, we want witnesses, we want evidence, we want to see the documents, and that's that's what I'm hearing. Uh, not so much let him go or you know acquit or, or guilt, guilty or not guilty. It's right now the intensity of the calls is why aren't they going to call witnesses? Okay, Senator, thank you so much for coming out during the break. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Jake, and Wolf. Back to you. All right, Dana. Thanks very much.